Hello everyone, so today's shave I'm gonna go back to a brand I've used before but a, a different scent uh, we're going back to Pinnacle Grooming across the pond and let's open it up mmm, a bit subdued yeah, but uh, nice, um, it kind of reminds me of a cologne cologne kind of scent but um, it's a bit subdued on the puck I have to say I was expecting a bit more because my previous of them is really intense and I love intense scents but uh, this might be bigger now if uh, uh, the scent might be bigger if uh, when I leather it so we'll see we'll see how it is so there we go and we're gonna use the R41 the Moolah R41 uh, sorry this one is the R103 that's it because of the handle but it's the R41 basically I'm gonna call it the R41 it's easier so that, that's it, that's the one we're gonna use today. I'm gonna load the blade. Going to be a perma sharp first use. I'm gonna put this here. There we go. Bottom cap. There we go. Ready, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, I'm gonna use some pre-shave today. I'll use Mastro Mickey because I know it doesn't affect the soap. So I'm just gonna wet my face there. There we go. Mastro Mickey. Nice, no need for a lot, small bit. Now well, let's just wet. Wet the hands a bit. Ready. I have a bit of a bigger road today. So about four or five days, maybe. So now we're gonna use my French shaving brown bo um, brown badger. Mm. Loads of water there. Leave it there. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna leather it in, in the puck. Endymion. Endymion. That's it. Forgot to say the name, I think. So, Endymion. There we go. I'm gonna put a bit more water on the br br brush. Loads. I would say this might be enough. There we go. Wash the puck now. That's it. Upside down. Let's get the brush now. Oh yeah. It's a bit more intense now. Definitely a bit more intense. A bit more water. Should be enough. I would say that should be enough. A brilliant, brilliant leather, which is to be expected. The scent is a bit more intensive now that I leathered it. It's kind of a perfume kind of scent, I have to say. So just wet the razor. Here we go. Mula R41 with a Perma Sharp uh, first use. There we go. One of the things with, with this razor that I find is I have to be a bit more careful because she's a bit on the aggressive side. 
but I always get brilliant, brilliant shapes with it. And if I stretch the skin, it's just perfect. There we go. To the side there, actually, I'm gonna open my broken alum there. Just to There we go. Really nice. I just love this razor. This this razor is just something else. And I know for a fact if I do just a two pass shave, it'll be just perfect. Alum. There we go. Mustache area. That's it. First pass done. Actually, I have to say, took most of it at the first. Yeah, that's the thing I love about this razor. It's so, so efficient. You just have to take your time with it a bit more. Really, really, yeah. Small bit there and there and the chin area, but that's about it on the first pass. Really nice, small bit there as well. I'll say now I'll do it across and I'll be done with it. So I'm gonna get ready for a second pass. There we go. Ready for second pass. Back to the brush. Yeah, this leather is just lovely, lovely. And the scent is way, way more intense now. There we go. Ready for second pass. I'm gonna go across. The other side now. Bit of the alum there. Mustache area now. Lovely BBS. I, I just love this razor. Something else. I just have to take my time, go a bit slower, and it, two passes, and I have a BBS shave with this one. Just take your time, be a bit slower there, stretch your skin, and it's just perfection. Look at this. So let's get ready for the alum now. That's it. There we go. Let's pat the face. Enough. Go to the alum. Let's see. Ooh, all the feedback on the bottom. Small bit there. Chin area. Wow. Yeah, plenty of feedback on the bottom, neck area and chin area, plenty there. Let's put it back, drying. Now, let's check the leather I got there. Still a bit more there, but here we go. Mm. 
really really nice and the scent it's a bit more subdued compared with the compared with the the last one I used from them but it's still very 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 pleasant it didn't surpass for me it didn't surpass the last one but it's still very very pleasant so I'm gonna wash my stuff let the alum dry and I see you for the post chain see you in a bit we're back, so I took the alum already. Uh, let's go to the post shave. Endymion, Endymion by Pinnacle Grooming. Let's see if this is the same as the, the soap. A bit of a stopper there. Ugh, there. Alcohol. Ooh, a lot of feedback still there on the bottom. Different. Let's see if the alcohol goes away. Smells good, but feels different than the than the soap. I have to say, the splash feels a bit different than the soap. I have to say. Yeah, I enjoy more the scent of the soap itself than the splash. It might be just the alcohol because it has a lot of alcohol but um, at least at first now maybe in a few minutes I'll be able to feel the scent better yeah it's still very subdued and I still think it's different than the soap I do prefer the scent of the soap yeah even though it's still subdued compared with the, what I tried previous for the, from them but uh, yeah definitely Definitely the scent of the soap for me. It's a bit better than the, the, the splash the, the, the splash is a lot subdued I have to say although plenty of alcohol A bit of feedback there. So that's it. We're gonna, we're gonna recap the, the shave. We use the Mula R41 with a Perma Sharp that I have here on the magnet drying up There you go Put it back. Um, I love this razor, love this razor, but it's one of those that I have to have, take my time, go slow. I can't rush with this razor at all. I don't think anyone can. Uh, you know, it gives me really, really BBS shapes, but I have to be really careful with it. Uh, to leather with it, we use the Frank shaving, uh, brown uh, badger, not um, this I like this knot, but um, the only thing I would say compared with the other badgers I've tried is that it, the density is a bit lacking on the density. But once you wet it, one thing that I love about it is how it plays, and uh, it, it goes a bit. Um, I'm trying to show how it goes when, with the water. So even though it doesn't have a lot of density, I don't feel like uh, it's still really nice to leather and. Produces a brilliant leather, I have to say, and it's pretty, pretty soft as well. Uh, as for the pinnacle grooming uh, endymion, by the way, I have the scent notes there, I forgot to say. So, top notes, mandarin, bergamot, cardamom, nutmeg, black pepper for the top notes. And then heart notes, uh, it's vetiver, lavender, sage and amber. And the base notes is leather, musk and myrrh. I like this scent on the soap, although I would love if it was a bit more, I have to say, but I was a bit disappointed with the splash, I have to say. I was expecting more from the splash. Um, I, don't, I don't feel it at the moment at, at all. I'm going to actually put a bit more just to see. It might be just my nose at me now, but um, yeah, it's different. It's different than the soap for sure. Completely different. I, I don't feel it's the same at all. Yeah, it, it's it's not that it's not nice. I just prefer it more intense. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I would have preferred a bit more intensity there on the on, on the splash. So this is me a few minutes later. I'd say about twenty minutes after the shave. Uh, I have to address one thing. I said they were different. I felt they were different, maybe because of the alcohol, uh, and I felt a bit disappointed, maybe because. I had high expectations of it compared with the first one I used. But um, <clears throat> now, after a while, the scent is definitely the same as the soap. 
uh, the alcohol kind of went away. That's why it's hard to do first impressions sometimes. And I have to address another thing. All the ladies in the house loved it. Uh, my wife loved it. And she's saying, oh, this is going to be one of the ones that is going to last until the end of the day. So we'll see. I don't know if it's going to last until the end of the day. But I, I felt that I had to address this and say, it's the same thing. Uh, maybe it was my high expectation and the alcohol, which kind of alters your, your scent um, profile there straight away. But now after a while, yeah, it's definitely the same. I still feel this a bit subdued because um, I like intense uh, scents, but uh, all the ladies in the house loved it. So great. Back to the normal video. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this shave. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support the channel, I have my affiliate links below uh, where you can get some discounts and some, some brands. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.